Ladies and gents, this year has been a year of violent improv stories and I want to end on something a bit different, alright? Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on the idea a man steals hand sanitizer let the story commence. It was that lockdown Next year, it was 2021, it was like lockdown 4, lockdown 5, fucking f wave 5, fifth wave. People are making all sorts of jokes, you know how you had like lockdown 2, Electric Avenue, which I came up with by the way, everybody else has come up with fucking um, lockdown 2, fucking Electric Boogaloo. I was the one who came up with lockdown 2, Electric Avenue. I came up with it first. Once it got to like fourth wave, fifth wave, people were like, there was a there's a band called something like, I don't know. People were, why oh, do I keep waiting there? I feel like I'm dribbling there. Got to get that checked out. Um, it was another wave of people scrambling for bog rolls and stealing fucking like, like, like places around that hand san hand sanitizer. Um, it was a new strain, really, really bad strain, and Craig needed his hand sanitizer for his family. He walked past the restaurant, and the restaurant says, this is safe, come in, we've got hand sanitizer and a lot. He, th he thought, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to steal it. I feel terrible, I'm going to go in, I'm going to steal bog roll, and I'm going to steal hand sanitizer. So Craig said to his family, which consisted of a wife and two children, and he said, wait out here, I just need to pop in. Oh, are we going for dinner? No. Just give us a second. Where are you going? What are you doing? Can we just wait to the toilet for, uh, wait, wait till we get up the road for the, for the toilet? No, I'm going in for, I'm going in for, I'm going in for, I'm going to get hand sanitizer so we can survive. And his wife said, you can't just go in and steal. He said, so we can survive. He went into the toilet. Hold on, I've got RTX voice on. Sorry, get it off. You're missing out on important wee sounds. There we go. There we go. He said, so we can fucking survive. He went into the toilet. There was a member of staff already in the toilet. And Craig was like, I've got to act like I'm in. The cubicle was taken, there's only one cubicle, so he sort of waited outside as if he needed a shite like that. But he couldn't actually dare that, remember. Because a mask. It was just it was just looking at the guy like that. What the guy didn't know is that Craig was looking at him like this. He was doing that smile. You know the smile you do, which means... You alright? Hi there. Hi there. You alright? No, this smile. But this one. Like that. Um, member of staff left feeling uncomfortable. Craig um, went to the hand sanitizer to take it right out of its wee kind of holster. But somebody came at the cubicle that he, that he couldn't get in to remember. Um, and it was another member of staff. And Craig thought, right, I'm, I've just been caught red handed here. So he went like that. Sorry. Ah, oh good. What, what kind of hand sanitizer is this? You know, as if he's like picking it up, waiting for the guy to come out. What was this? What hand sanitizer is this? And the guy went like that. I, d I don't know. I don't know. Right, right, just now, just check. Alright, right, back it goes. 
Craig went into the cubicle. He thought I got fucking caught there. He looked at the wee gap in the door at the toilet. He could see the guy was hanging about. And Craig went, I think he's thinking about it because he knows I'm going to steal that hand sanitizer. I think I'm not the only one who's been trying to steal it. So he made it that he wanted some privacy so he could do a shite. And Craig said, excuse me. Aye. Can, can I have some privacy, please? But, sorry, what? Can I have some privacy? I'm trying to do the toilet here. The guy went, right. And the guy left. Craig, the second the guy left, Craig opened the cubicle door, got the hand sanitizer out, put it in his pocket, and left the toilet. The second he walked out the toilet, that member of staff who was previously in was standing outside with the other one who was in, who wasn't in the cubicle, and one of them started to go back in the toilet again. Probably, you know what they were doing. I got to check to see if something was missing. And Craig went, oh, ah, actually, I forgot. Oh, excuse me, sorry, I didn't see you there. I actually need to go back into there. A shite, another one. So Craig went in first, and the guy went, excuse me, he went, hey, hey. Craig went, hey, distance please, two metres. Two metres, please. Two metres. Right? And Craig shut the door. Don't come any closer. Craig shut the door of the toilet. And then quickly ran. While the door was shut, quickly ran, put it back in the hole stunt. The guy came, the two of them came barging in. The door went like, boom, banged against the wall. And Craig was standing like that. What? What is it? Can a guy no dare shite in peace in this restaurant? Use her own trust pilot. No, no trust pilot. That other one. No Yelp. TripAdvisor. Aye, TripAdvisor. User on TripAdvisor. So far, you at five. You're getting five stars. Five out of five. But this is weird what's going on here. I need to do a shite. What are you in here for? And the two the two staff who worked here just thought, right, we'll just back each other up. Well you were trying to we were just checking to see if you're trying to take the hand sanitizer. And Craig went like that. See if I wanted to take the hand sanitizer, I would have taken it by now. I would have I would have hid it in my pocket when I was walking out there. Right? And it wasn't because look, it's there. I but you could have put that back in when you came back in. I, t- I told you I'm back in today, a shite. And one of the staff went, like, oh, we'll go then. Craig went, oh, I fucking will then. We'll go. Oh, I fucking will. And the two guys went, like, we want to see it. We want to see it. Craig went, like, you what? We want to see it. I'll show you. I'll show you. No, in fact, no. No. And they went like that. Well, you know what? We're going to place you under a citizen's arrest. We believe that you were trying to steal the hand sanitizer, And you know there's a problem with that right now. And you will be you will be ruined. You're basically taking hand sanitizer. Basically fucking killing people. That's right. You're killing people. I wasn't trying to take the hand sanitizer. If, look, just let me leave. No, no. Got Johnny, just open. No. Let me out. No. Right, leave. But we know you're trying to steal. We're pl- placing your citizen's arrest. I can prove I was in today. Sh- well, go date then. Go date then. So Craig went into the cubicle and started to shut the door and one of the guys went like that. We need to see. Well, we're not coming in with me. Well, we're going to, we want to look at the top then. Look at the top then. So two guys were there like that. Craig sat down, pulled in his trousers and pants and started doing the shite. 
trying to do a shite. And the two guys were like that. Looking there. And Craig was like that. Huh? <sighs> huh? One of the guys went away. Craig was like that. Where'd he go? <clears throat> he looked down. The guy was looking up through the gap at the bottom of the door. At, but at the back bit, near Craig's ass. And the guy went like that, Johnny, nothing's coming out. And Craig went, how can you see if something's coming out? I'm sitting on the fucking toilet. I could just see. I could just see, because I could see the, your, your ass sitting on the, your, your muscles on the tensing. And then a miracle happened. Plot. He farted out a shite and it went plop into the pan. He went, there you fucking go. Now the problem was, it smelt like a shite. But it smelt more like a fart than a shite. And the two guys went like, something's no right here. And Craig went, what you fucking mean that was a shite? And the guys went, stand up, we want to see. And Craig stood up. And they looked in the pan. And there in the pan, you could see it wasn't a shite. What Craig had actually done was because he was straining so hard, he'd actually shot out a part of an organ. Part of one of his organs, internal organs. He actually shot out a bit, uh, a part of an organ, like a, like a wee bit of a kidney. <laughs> he shot out a wee bit of his kidney. There was blood, congealed blood, and it was floating like a sponge. The kidney's quite spongy, and it smelled. It was pretty bad. It was bad. And the two guys went like that. That's no a shite. And Craig went, that counts as a shite. Keep in mind, boys, I was in here because I needed to use that toilet to do a shite. A shite is anything that comes out your ass. Right? See if... <laughs> see, see... See if I have to squeeze something out. Like, imagine, say, I shat out a coin... I accidentally swallowed a pound coin, right? And then it went through my system and came out my ass. I could technically say I shat out that coin. It doesn't have to be encased in a shite. If it came out my ass after going through my body, that counts as having been shat out. So one of the guys went like, what are you trying to say then in that example? That, that a pound coin, if it came out just all by itself, Counts as a shite. Even if it hasn't got shite around it. And Craig went, aye. That is a shite. That, that, that was a pound, a pound coin. That counts as a shite. That's a form of shite. And the two guys, one of them agreed with Craig. And one of them didn't. They? And the two of them started arguing with, with each other. About it. Because there is, you can see both sides of the story there. Craig, while they were arguing, he went like that, look. He went like this. He sneaked under them and went to the hand sanitizer, picked it up, and they were so engrossed in the argument that he actually held the hand sanitizer up right in front of their faces and went like, I'm stealing this, and you just don't even know it. And they went like that, 
No. So are you trying to say, aye, right, mate? Are you trying to tell me that they were, they were just engrossed in it? Craig walked right out with that hand sanitizer. And everybody, see the second he stepped to the toilet, everybody in the whole fucking restaurant was looking at him. He was like, there was a balcony bit as well. All people wanes, they're all looking. A wee Wayne came walking up and went like that. We heard everything. Craig was like, and then up in the balcony, this old person with a mask on, like, I mean, like an oxygen mask sort of thing, tubes and all that, went like that. Other people. Whole fucking place was like that. Applauding. And Craig went like, see the wind that came up? He went like, yeah. Hand sanitizer for you. One for you. A wee bit for you. So he didn't just keep it off for his family, he did share it out. Five squats. And when he went outside, his two wings and his wife went like that. You were in there for ages. What kept you? Yes, Dad, you were in there for ages. You were in there for ages. And Craig said, See the people in there. See the people in there. I'm a fucking hero. I'm a hero. I'm fucking saving lives. And I gave them entertainment. And you just don't get it. And that, ladies and gents, is what it's like being me. Staying in this house, by the way. One doesn't get it. And Daniel thinks I'm just a silly old lazy man. He doesn't get what I've done for you this year. The end. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks everybody, but it's really hard here.